last but not least in the AFC, I want to talk about the AFC South division. So in the AFC South, I have the Tennessee Titans winning this division with a 12 and 5 record. I have the Colts finishing second with a nine with an eight and nine record. Pardon me. That's eight wins, nine losses. The Jaguars come in third place with a five and twelve record. And the Houston Texans will go one and sixteen. I'm not a big believer in the Texans. I'll just get that out of the way. They're, they have a horrible roster by NFL standards. The offensive line's bad. The defense is bad. The coaching staff is unproven. There probably will be no Deshaun Watson for them this year. And he was the only reason they were in game last year. And they were horrible. So if you take Deshaun Watson away, they're the worst team in all football. And this is one of the worst teams and worst rosters I've ever seen. So I don't know where the wins are going to come from. I gave the Texans one win. Because they do have some solid players in Justin Reed, in Philip Lindsley. You know, Brandon Cooks is all right, but the Texans, they're a mess. Now, I want to get back to the top. The Tennessee Titans, I'm a believer in them, okay? Are they a Super Bowl contender? Maybe, maybe not, but they're really good, okay? This is a this is a playoff caliber football team that made the playoffs last year, has made the playoffs the last two years, and they just went out there and added Julio Jones. Julio Jones is still one of the five best wide receivers in all football. Julio Jones and A.J. Brown, they make up the best wide receiver core. Or I should say the best wide receiver duo in the entire National Football League. They are dynamic. They'll make big plays. Ryan Tannehill is a good quarterback. You know, is, is Ryan Tannehill quite a top 10 quarterback? I wouldn't say so, but he's he's moving up the charts. Ryan Tannehill is a good quarterback. He can get the job done, not to mention, you still have Derrick Henry to hand the ball off to. You know, I, I believe Derrick Henry is the best running back in all of football. Mike Vrabel is a good head coach. And look, people talk about, oh, the Titans' defense is horrible. Well, the Titans' defense was horrible last year, and they still make the playoffs. And this year, I believe the defense will be better. Because they added Bud Dupree, they added Danico Autry, they added Janoris Jenkins, and they added Caleb they added Caleb Farley out of Virginia Tech, a playmaking quarterback. So I think the Tennessee Titans, they're they're a team that definitely could make some noise if things break their way in the playoffs. The Colts, not a big believer. Not a believer in Carson Wentz that much. You know, he really fell off the face of the earth last year in Philadelphia. I get it. It was a, he had a he had a bad offensive line, not great weapons to throw to, and he will have a good offensive line and solid weapons in Indianapolis. He's playing for a head coach in Frank Wright that he's familiar with. But here's the thing: last year, Phillip Rivers did not lose games. For the Colts. He was a game manager for the most part. That was big on third down. And while Carson Wentz, to me, from a talent perspective, is an upgrade over Phillip Rivers, from the mental standpoint, from the I know how to play quarterback standpoint, from a feel for the game standpoint, from a making the right decision standpoint, from the, you know, playing mistake free football standpoint. Carson Wentz grades out poorly, and while Carson Wentz will make some big plays, he'll also make some big-time mistakes. And this offseason, the Colts really did not do a whole lot to improve this roster. It's a good roster, but it's not great compared to other AFC rosters, not to mention the Colts have a brutal schedule. I'm not a believer in the Colts this year. The Jaguars, very similar to the New York Jets in the sense that I believe they're still rebuilding, young quarterback. They probably will have the gro- have some growing pains in Trevor Lawrence, but there is some talent on this roster. They have some playmakers at the wide receiver position. James Robinson's a real player at the running back position. I believe in Urban Meyer. I think the Jaguars will be an improved team. They'll win about five games. And that's it for the AFC um, predictions right there as far as the divisions go. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. 
This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows. Or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Lurt Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.